Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining us today on this glorious day. Uh, we're at Grosvenor Technologies and we're installing a load of vehicle chargers. So let's head inside and see what's going on. So we've got a lot of gear going in today. Let's start off with the EV blocks. These are fantastic. I've never used them before. <coughs> But they make them in several sizes for EV towers to go on and it streamlines the process of building a base for the vehicle charger. This drops in the ground, they're about 95 kilos each. I'll be alright lifting that, no problem. Um, and then we've got a load of duct that's going to go down there from in here. If we head on over to this wall, which is currently a bit boring, we're going to have a big old panel board up here, going up here, surge protection underneath with some ALM meters for the survivors chargers and then we've got to get a big old sub main from 80 metres that way, which we'll go and see all the way down to here. So we're down the other end of the building now, guys. This is where we're going to be having our switch fuse isolator, somewhere in this location. And then we've got our armour that's going to leave the building and run the perimeter of the building down to where we just were. Um, but let's stop talking about it and let's get on with it. building around the corner and back to where we were a minute ago we're going to cleat that high level under this tin here all the way along normally we'd use d-line or linians but this cable is so big we can't do that so we've got these little things called p-clips so they're still fire rated they'll look nice um, and this is a fire escape route so they've got to be fire rated anyway um, so yeah all the way down we've also got a cat5 swa with that for the ct connections for the survivors chargers um, going to be a lot of work but I'm looking forward to it. We're going to get the run protect out so that's going to make the cable weightless. It can hold up to about 800 kgs so um, yeah going to get that out and we're going to get this in. Three, two, one. <laughs> How many meters was it? 80 odd. Doesn't look like 80 odd. Obviously, I've got to peek that in so if it does roll away, it's getting him and not me. <laughs> We're going to see if this can actually go on the run protect. Should be able to, but let's test it to the limit. We when we tip it all. We like that. Not quite, but we'll get it on it. Oh, yeah, we're on. We're on. <laughs> welcome, still on it now. To, welcome to my bar. Still on it. Like a massive Lady Susan. <laughs> <laughs> or Lazy Pete. <laughs> fun. So we've started pulling the cable in but I'd like you guys to let me know in the comments below what size cable you think this is. What I will tell you is it is a five core SWA but what size is it? Let us know in the comments below. So along here we've got multiple obstacles which we're trying to overcome. The next one is this pipe linked with the aircon. What we're going to try and do, we've got this tray next to it, we're going to hold the cable tie in to run this through so when we're pulling it through until we fix it it shouldn't then be pulling on this. There's a couple of those, so we're going to see if it works. Okay, let's wash it a little bit. Is it pulling on it? That's alright. That's it, right so far. Do you need one this side as well? Huh? Do you need one this side? What side? My side. No. Of that pipe? No. Do you need something this side as well? <laughs> oh, 
Ready? Yeah, go for it. Drop it over this bit. That should be alright now. Yeah, so you see this door without, with all those loops still in it. We think we've got enough cable down here. It's hard to tell with just two of us. We've got massive drip loops everywhere. So we're going to start cleating from that end with P-Mill P-Clips. Hopefully we've got enough. If we haven't, worst case, we just loosen them off and pull some more slack through. But we need to get the weight off the ground because it's impossible with the two of us. Even when you are two big burly men like us. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing we can't do, fella. <laughs> All the gear. You've got to have the gear. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weapon, isn't it? Yeah, it is a weapon. Where it's best to lift this from? Oh, on the candle, I guess. Yeah. Let's be careful. Right. Yeah. I've got my end. Yeah. Good. So we're here with RJK Construction. We've got Will down today. He's going to do all the hard work for us by digging the trench. Really great bunch of guys. So if you need a builder and you're in the Dorset area, we'll put the details below. But it's RJK Construction. Right, Probably fine then. All right. So we're going to start getting this fixed up. Um, we're going to start <laughs> not one end or the other, but closer to that end than that end. We've got loads of slack everywhere. So if we start sort of a third in, we should have more than enough that end. So we're going to get it fixed along and then we'll work back the last sort of 10 meters or so going that way um, and then get it into the building. The guys are doing the trench now. They're just starting to get it all marked out. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Let's do it. Do my magnetic on you, right? These clips have actually turned out a bit too big for the cable. I don't know if you can see that. Capture it. There's a bit of a void there. So rather than mess around, have a go at the wholesalers. What we can actually do, it works out quite nicely, is we can get the, um, the Cat5 as it's screened with it, and then once that's actually round, it's now a nice, nice snug fit. It's not too tight that it's pinching the Cat5 or the armoured, it fits, I'd say, perfectly. Um, so that's what we've been doing, probably halfway with the clipping. Um, obviously, it's about 80 metres, so yeah, we've got a clip about every 300. So I think we've got about a million of these bad boys in the box down there. But um, so far, so good, to be fair. Yeah, I like these. cable through uh, where the main supply is down this end so we'll just walk around to the cupboard and we'll show you what we're doing so as you saw this morning we're going to have a switch fuse isolator down here somewhere um, for the three phase and neutral that takes our supply down the other end of the building we've measured up so we're going to drill from inside out with a small pilot bit so we don't blow anything brick wise and then we'll go outside and drill, bit, uh, <laughs> drill back through with a much bigger bit for the right size for the cable um, we're just doing it that way because there's a couple of bits outside we're trying to avoid so if we go out with a small bit we won't blow the brick and then we'll come back through with a i think a 30 mil uh, sds bit and then uh, we're just going to get it in here for today and then tomorrow we'll get all the gear on it guys day two on the job sun's out still which is nice um, the guys have started the groundworks they had a bit of a mare with their digger yesterday it's I think they've been supplied a gutless thing so they're struggling to dig the trench they've got the channels dug um, with a, a disc cutter as to where we're gonna build a <laughs> build a trench dig the trench I say we it's not we it's RJK construction top lads in the Dorset area um, yeah so they're gonna do that today we've got our cable here and we're going to punch through low level and then when we go inside obviously 
we'll um, get the board mounted and show what's going on in there. But yeah, it was a hell of a run yesterday all the way down there and then probably another 20 meters around the corner. So we're just parked up over there and um, we're gonna have our coffees and then we're gonna go inside when they open. So we're inside now guys, uh, we've got our panel board that's going to be going up here once we've got the cable in, probably down there somewhere and we'll bring it up like so and then we're going to have some EV ultras going out. We've got the EV blocks over here ready to go in, we've got three of those, a load of ducts and our EV ultra, the ducts obviously going to run down the um, trench once they've got all that dug, so yeah, there's me on camera. Um, so first point of call, we're going to get the cable in and then we're going to offer the board up here somewhere, check where it best fits and then we'll start getting it all mounted. This is our lewd and panel board. So we're gonna look up here and get the best position for it. And then we've also got another enclosure in here, again lewd and that'll have the surge protection in and the, the ALM meter and that stuff. And then down the other end, we've got the Eris uh, switch fuse isolator to bring the sub main down. So yeah, we're gonna measure this all up and we're gonna get it on the wall. There's Pete. <laughs> So the boards are mounted now guys, apologies for the uh, authentication over here, it keeps going off. Um, yeah, so main panel board, then we've got our chamber below. Uh, in this we're going to have our surge protection for the installation and then we've got an Eastron uh, ALM meter for the survivor discharges. Up here we've got our RCBOs, we've got six 32 amp double pole RCBOs. We've got a six amp RCBO for voltage reference for the ALM. And then we've got our surge MCB. Um, so we're going to get that cable in down below now and get it up. Uh, what Pete's done is he's pre-drilled for the six outgoing uh, EV Ultra cables and the incoming okay. main, so it'll be a lot easier when we get those up. So um, yeah, anything to say Pete? No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. bend down there and then straight up nice and neatly in some metal p-clips we're just going to get this cut back now get it up and in the board um, i might try and get them behind this uh, equally i might just use the space up there and around because this is all going to be open so um but yeah let us know what you guys would do if you were doing it um if you've got a better way always happy to find out a better way to do things so this board sort of done as far as we can go with it now we've got the sub main coming over uh, we've got some trunking going on there and up there it's going to have all the data stuff for the network switch here tomorrow this sort of bit going down to get cut off we've got a 90 angle to clip over it so two we've got it with us don't want to trim it back um but yeah i'll open this up this isn't the complete article so don't uh, slate me um this stuff's going to get jiggled along a bit and then we'll have obviously a load of uh, modular blanks in here um so that'll get tucked down to the end then we'll probably leave a space or two with mod blanks uh, before the Eastron meter and then that'll all be filled up um, so that is that and then up here again likewise we've got a couple of mod blanks to go in um, but we've got all our RCBOs in our surge MCB obviously we've got to label all that up but um, it's about as far as we can go because we're still waiting for the guys to to dig that trench um, so yeah tomorrow we'll be getting ducks in and stuff and um, yeah hopefully we'll get some testing done of our supply over because first thing tomorrow we've got to come in early to do the final connections on the switch fuse and then we'll just leave it isolated obviously until we're ready to power up but um yeah good day overall so that's it for today guys we've made some really good progress on the job um, we've had a little delay with the digger because it's not been as man enough as they thought so we've got a larger one coming tomorrow so join us for part two where we be installing the vehicle chargers and getting it all livened up before we leave you today please uh, hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and leave some comments below i'll see you next time